Yeah, yeah. Get it, Bri, get it, yeah. How do y'all guys like my intro? Isn't it cute? Well, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this rosy look. This is my everyday tutorial, and I'll be showing you guys how to do it. Hope you guys enjoy watching it, and let's get right into the video. Lots of people have been raving about this foundation, and in this tutorial, I'll be trying it out. I'm taking the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and applying that to my face. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender in dabbing motions. Pros about this foundation is that it's very full coverage and it has a matte finish. I really like this foundation, but the only con is that I find that it's making me look orange throughout the day. When I go back home and I try to wipe off my makeup, I see myself and it look just orangey. And I don't know what it is, but I think it's the foundation. But other than that, I really like this foundation. Next, I'm taking the CNC concealer and applying that under my eye, chin, forehead area. And this concealer has a heavy consistency, but I like the color to it. And if you have any dark spots, blemishes, this will be your go-to it'll cover everything up now to set everything I'm gonna be taking the revolution baking powder I got this from Ulta Beauty and it's it was really cheap it was like eight dollars but I'm applying a lot of product under my eyes, chin, forehead area, down my nose. This actually doesn't even give you any flashback. That's why I'm applying so much. And also my skin is very oily, so I have to. But yeah, so far I love this powder. I use it almost every day. This is a great powder for everyday look because you don't want to be using your expensive powders every day. And this is really cheap, so yeah. Now I'm taking my LA Girl contour palette and putting that on the sides of my cheek, my forehead, and down my nose. This gives my face color. After the foundation, all the powder, this is just going to give my face color. Now I'm squeezing the sides of the brush and applying the same color down my nose. Sometimes they can create a harsh line, so you want to take the brush and blend it out. Make sure everything is blended. Make sure it's your color. Everything matches. I'm taking the same palette and using these two blush shades, and I'm applying that to my cheeks. I'm going for a more rosy look, so I'm applying a lot of product, but it really is not going to look like a lot once I'm done. Now I'm just sweeping the excess powder off my face. Um, this powder, some people leave it on for five minutes, but I usually like to do my contour and blush and then I'll just dust everything off. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and applying that down my nose. And oh, look at that. Okay, highlight popping. <laughs> but I'm taking that on my the sides of my cheek, down my nose, and I apply it with a brush but sometimes when you use the brush, you can create a harsh line, so I'm going in with my fingers and blending everything out. Now I'm gonna be applying that highlighter underneath my brow bone, just because this will go with my um, look that I'm going for in this video. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Okay, next I'm gonna be taking these two shades and applying that in my higher crease. This is gonna be my transition shade. The key is to blend. You can't just slap a shade on your face and expect it to come out like all YouTubers. You have to blend. Now I'm gonna be taking this dark brown shade and putting that in my lower crease. And I'm just gonna be blending that out also. Next, I'm going to be taking this light pink shade and applying that to my eyelid. 
I like to wet my brush and then apply the product because it just gives more pigment but yeah this can go for any skin tone I really like this eye look now I'm just going back in with the same brush that I started off with and going back in with the transition shade colors and just making sure everything blends in with the pink that I just applied to my face and here I am taking the darker shade and just blending that out. When applying the darker shade, you want to make sure it's below the transition shade because that will create a gradual effect. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Matte Finish Spray. This is really a good finish spray, but I don't really like the smell to it, but it's really good. I'm going to be taking this 201 Broadway Lashes and I'm just applying that to my lash line. I'll have the glue in the description box below. Everything will be in the description box below. But yeah, this is how I apply my lashes. If you want a full detailed video on how I apply my lashes, just comment below and I will have that video up soon. And you want to make sure you're getting as close as possible to your lash line. That way they'll look realistic. Now I'm gonna be taking my Rimmel eyeliner and applying that to my waterline. I'm also gonna be applying this to my upper lash line. This makes my eyes pop and it creates a really deep look. taking this ruby kisses and lining my lips this is honestly my go-to lip like I wear this every single day I'll try to change it up in future videos but for now I'm just lining my lips with that and I'm also taking this pink matte shade and applying that after this and I'm taking the pink shade and putting it towards the middle of my lip just to create an ombre effect this is a neutral lip and it will go with any eye look but it really goes with this eye look And that concludes this tutorial. I hope all of you enjoyed watching. I have something special coming up for you guys. Within my next two videos, I'll be doing a Q&A video about myself. So if you all would leave questions that you'd like to know about me down below, or also my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Brian Beauty. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.